Space today to run, I believe. So, I'm gonna dump the trucks from last night. Had a pretty heavy frost this morning, but sun's trying to peak out. So, hopefully, it'll be hopefully it'll be melted off here in the next hour or so. Now, if this truck will just start, fingers crossed. Hey, there we go. She purr like a kitten. You know, on the channel we talk about government juice and there seems to be some confusion about that. Some people think I'm talking about diesel fuel, some people don't have any idea what I'm talking about. So, I made a bumper sticker for it. When we talk about government juice, we're talking about diesel exhaust fluids. But if you're interested in a government juice sticker, you can find those on our website. So let's get right here. The truck's empty. I'm ready to meet my brother over at the field. He's bringing the 1038 back over. We'll put it on the grain cart. Uh, first thing to get empty. It might be the last time it unloads that cart, but we're going back to the Cadillac. And it looks like BJ's farts are staying in my tractor seat now. Uh, we're taking the big hoss over there to the grain bins. That's where the Turbo Max is at. We're going to go ahead and hook it up, I believe, and maybe try to work some ground with it tomorrow. I don't know. No, I wouldn't let me go around either, brother. I'll just follow you at 25 miles an hour. Rookies. Okay, I don't know where we left off, but there's been some confusion with the grain bins, and basically I thought we were going to be able to run all day. I think Dad did too. But we're only going to be running about 10,000 bushel. So, yep. It's not that we don't have the space. We do. We still have around 40,000 bushels of space, I think. But... We need to be able to transfer corn into that big bin and that's not doable yet. So until that time comes, we can run 10,000 bushel. It's gonna really stink having to wait on that before we can uh, finish corn harvest. But that might be what happens. Right now the plan is tomorrow, if the sun comes out, we get the chance we're gonna do double crops. So hopefully we can at least still be knocking acres out that way. What speed do you guys usually unload at? With this eight row, I'm able to run six mile an hour if the head will take it. But unload, I like to load, unload, you know, like a mile an hour really in corn slower than I need to. That way I can gain, I can load the cart as I need. Right now I'm unloading at four and a half. Beans, I'll usually unload at like two and a half to three, depending on how fast I'm running for the same reason. That and with beans is probably a little bit more critical because you might find some down beans. I have to slow way down when you hit a patch of green beans how fast I run. All right guys, I'm gonna hop out for a little bit. Dad's gonna get in. With us only being able to run, you know, 10,000 bushel, we're just running this combine. I think he switched his over to beans maybe for tomorrow. But he's gonna hop in. I gotta go to my niece's one year birthday party. It's important stuff. So, he'll hop in and uh, probably finish his field and start on the next one. We're rolling on the branch combine. Camera working off, hanging upside down here. He had to go someplace and uh, we can't do a whole lot of corn, so we run the his over here. Perfect home farm, good corn, stand good. Just about got this field done, three or four more acres here. This eight row compared to twelve row, I call it fine. A little harder to get a lot of couple of in there. Get used to it, I guess. But the head worked pretty good now on the change it did to it. Looks like we're taking it in pretty good. Got the 1038 back on the grain cart. We're running out of hours on that channel. Save some for the tiller. Hey, the sun finally came out. 
It's just getting back. I think Dad's going to hop out of the combine. I'm going to get in. I'm not sure what he's going to do. He told me to come in and get in the combine. So I said, deal. Now I'm just getting back in the combine, and look who I found. The good-looking brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are right below the house, so they're just coming up. I'm going to hop in and ride with for a little ride for a little while we got two acres right over here oh i'm getting told to go around the crossing's pretty washed out i started to go across it and realized i only had one tire on dirt for a second or what well, was going to so that wasn't no good i think dad's trying to rebuild the crossing with a front end loader i, I, I don't know he needs backup backup in here hey do you need the keys you can have food we have food just not in here i don't think i have any snacks in there actually I'd blame it on Dad for eating them all. We could probably bury the combine right there. I think we get some views. Of all the farms that we have, this is probably the west. This is our home farm. This has got tile in it. It's old clay tile. Most of it's busted out. But we might actually find some mud over here. This corn's drunk. Yeah, this corn's probably the wettest corn we've harvested all year. It's one of the very last fields that we planted, and uh, apparently it's a longer day corn for some reason. It's as dry as it's going to get, so I guess we're it. See all this? There's supposed to be corn here. And a lot of deer damage, a lot of water spots Dad had to go around. Like I said, this is one of our wetter fields. This, is a, this has a lot more clay in this soil, not as much sand, so it doesn't take the water near as well. I think someone's ready for dinner in bed. That's me. Olivia, you're driving. I'm going to bed. Now, this field that we're in, I think I said in the last video or the video before that, that opening up fields, but by opening up, I mean doing the end rows on a field. How it's time consuming and slow and kind of a pain in the butt. This field is basically one big end row. It's 35 acres, but it is the most odd shaped field you'll ever see. So it's slow going, plus all the deer damage. But my cousin is in the tree right now, overlooking this field, doing some pesticide management. So maybe there'll be one less after this. I don't know. You know, between the water and the deer, that first round is probably one of the worst first rounds I've ever made. It's not very often that I can look at the yield monitor and see a 180 bushel yield swing on one round. So far, that's what we're seeing. And this field ain't gonna make 200s. <laughs> As you guys know, this is a two-wheel drive combine. We, uh, we like to keep things interesting. So we took a two-wheel drive, and we have a four-wheel drive to the muddiest field we have. Fishtailing a little bit. But overall, we're not sinking too bad yet. Yep, real good corn right through here. This is the good stuff. This is what you want. You can go faster and get done sooner when there's no bushels. Okay, now we're back in the crappy stuff. You know, where there's actual corn. Okay, now we're back in the crappy stuff. You know, where there's actual corn. We are very full and on the side of a hill trying to turn. We might cab corn the holy but Jesus out of this thing real soon. Just waiting for it to pour down. The corn's so wet, doesn't want to run down in the cart, so he's not really got a heavy load on that cart, but <laughs> couldn't uh, couldn't dump any more that's gonna pile up to the altar. So this is the wettest corn we've done all year. Right now we're in 28.6 percent moisture. It's cold. Corn's wet. It's muddy. When did we get to Minnesota? I thought we were in Ohio. That's what it's starting to feel like. We've almost got stuck a couple times. Found a tile hole. Corn's 30%. The yield's eh. I'm ready to get back into the good fields. I hope this is the last bad field. Waiting on the cart, so I'm just getting out and stretching my legs, taking a leak. Plus, Got to get that Instagram. While we're out here waiting, eh, it's going to be too dark. Let me see if I can get some light over here. Just about fell into this hole over here with the combine. Massive tile blowout. 
That one would have ripped the ladder off. I feel like this tile line might be busted. It's definitely not doing its job. That's Never Never Land. And I almost drove into it. While I know that field, that took forever. Oh, uh, we got that. In this past couple days, they really haven't been very efficient. I mean, not for any reason other than they're just not efficient fields. But I guess if we had to pick a time to do those, it would be when we don't have space. So it didn't hurt us a whole lot. These fields still had to get done. I did get a call back from the grain bin guy. They are coming Monday to tile that stuff in. So hopefully we can get that grain transferred and wrap this corn up. We don't have enough space to let run all night, so I have to shut her down. Well guys, I completely forgot to film the exit to that video, but also today's Veterans Day, so I would like to say Happy Veterans Day before we sign off, but um, thanks for watching the video. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Views and Facebook at Brown Farms. And we'll see you in the next video.